What's up everybody? It's Aggie Out Loud. I just wanted to do this quick video real quick. Um, today is January 29th, 2017. And I've shared my thoughts on these things before, but I just thought I would share them again, especially with everything that's going on right now. Um, all of these protests that are going on, all of these race wars, race riots, looting, damaging the property, um, all of this, all of these protests that are going on, this is what's going on on the stage of America. This is not the true reality. America is one big act. It's one big play. And what about 95% of the public believes is their true reality is what's on the stage, when in all actuality, it's what's behind the curtain. That's the true reality. It's not what's on the stage. You've got a 1% which consists of a certain group of families. Yes, the Rothschilds are part of this group. They are part of this 1%. But it's not only the Rothschilds. And this 1% controls the entire planet, not just the USA. They've got FEMA camps. FEMA concentration camps that have been set up all over the USA. The 1% is a part of this. They have shipped in thousands upon thousands of coffin liners that they've got stacked up hundreds of feet high in these deserted wooded areas. They're bringing in military tanks there, there's, there's large abandoned, and some of them aren't even abandoned, huge warehouses full of military guns, full of military tanks. And they're just waiting. They're just waiting for that 1% of the population that controls the planet to say, okay, now's the time. Everything that's going on right now is exactly what the 1%, the New World Order, this is exactly their plan. This is what they want to happen. They want blacks to be against whites. They want whites to be against blacks. They want there to be riots and race wars between blacks and Asians, Asians and Hispanics. And now the Native Americans are being targeted. People really need to open their eyes. This is all a part of their plan. You think the Holocaust can't happen in America? Well, guess what, people? It was the American industri industrialists that helped fund the Holocaust. Please wake up, people. The same person, and it's not just George Soros. He's one of them. But it's not just him. Do your research, and you'll see what I'm saying. You've got these billionaires that are paying $2,500 or however much, I really don't care, to these protesters to go out in these streets and cause chaos when it's these same people that are paying you to cause chaos in the streets. They will be the same people that watch you and your family die in a FEMA camp. They don't care about you. The same person that's paying you to go cause chaos in the streets is the same one that's killing you every single day and killing everybody in your family every single day by putting fluoride in the water god knows what else by putting poison and chemicals in our food by having everybody in america well not everybody but the majority of people in america taking prescription drugs for stuff that they don't even need to take the, the prescription drugs for. Sorry, I got a message. And even if they do need to take it for that very thing, do y'all know that cancer can be cured? AIDS. There's a cure for AIDS. There's a cure for any and everything that has to do with the body. It simply has to do with alkaline in the body, taking in certain herbs and vegetables and fruits and changing the way that you live your life as far as what you consume day in and day out within your body. All the professionals, all these elites, Trump included, 
all these people, they know this, but the pharmaceutical companies make trillions of dollars every year by keeping Americans sick. By keeping Americans on, pres on prescription drugs. So think about that for a second. While you're out here protesting, love Trump's hate, not my president, you got your pussy hats on, all of this, this is what they want. All you're doing is feeding into it. You're giving them what they want. And when martial law takes place and they're going from door to door trying to round up American citizens to send them off to these so-called FEMA camps, do you honestly think your, your Hillary Clinton or any other politician is going to come to your rescue and come to you and your family's rescue? They're not. But yet you'll go out there and risk your life protesting for them when they're a part of the 1%. I'm just trying to help y'all wake up because I'm starting to see that America is lost. They're talking about fake news. It's your mainstream media that's the fake news. And they started to see that the real independent alternative media television was starting to, to hit the truth on a lot of the issues that are going on and that a lot of people were starting to wake up to it, that they came back and counteracted it. It was like, no, we're going to put a stop to fake news when it was them that was bringing the fake news. But they want you to think it's the alternative media television that's bringing the fake news. It's all to cause mass confusion. It's all to cause chaos. I didn't vote because I'm a part of the real truth movement. I already know that presidents are selected. They are not elected. The one thing, just one of the things that the 1% wants America to continue to do is for them to continue to believe that their voice matters. Because once they believe that their voice matters, they won't protest anymore for money. They'll stop going to doctors. They'll stop. Do That's the whole point. They don't want that to happen. I'm trying to wake y'all up. The Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, George Soros, these are just some. But the 1% does not care about you. They don't care if your daughter's dying of cancer. They don't care that your mother's dying from whatever it could be, um, AIDS or kidney failure. They don't care about this. Do you know that there is a man that was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer? And do you, do you wanna know what he did? For six months, I believe it was for six months, he drank I think it was one to two cups every day of baking soda mixed in water with molasses. He started up, he drank one to two glasses of that every day. I believe it was for six months. And he cured his own stage four lung cancer. While millions of Americans with cancer are going to their doctors Believing that their doctors had their best interests at heart. The doctors don't care about you, baby. They don't care about you. I don't care if you're a doctor watching this. You know that I know what I'm saying. Every doctor knows that you can cure your own cancer. But they don't say nothing because they could risk everything that they have spent their entire life working towards, which is their career in the medical field and in the health field. So I'm just trying to wake people up. They want blacks to kill blacks. They want blacks to hate whites. Do you have a social security number? You're not free. Slavery still exists today. Except this time, it's everybody that's a slave. It's not blacks only. It's not the Jews. 
It's not people from Poland. It's, it's, it's all of us. And it's not just in the USA, but I'm just specifically speaking on the USA right now because that's where I'm at. This is why I don't vote. Because presidents are selected and not elected. And then you have to think about this. Trump is either a part of the globalist elite. Trump is either a part of the 1% New World Order or he's not. He's either a part of it and he's fooling everybody or he's not. And if he's not, how long do you think the globalist elite, the 1% New World Order, who, will, who have had this plan in stone for hundreds and hundreds of years, how long do y'all think they would allow Trump to remain president or much less stay alive? Think about it. Now, I have no issues with Trump. I didn't vote, but I don't have any issues with Trump. That's why periodically you will see that I will post something about Trump that he has done. If, if I agree in a decision that Trump has made, I will post it on my Facebook page because I agree with it. But don't for a second think that I'm one of the naive folk out here that believes that, that, that Trump is their savior. No, the only savior is Jesus Christ. Everybody that's out here protesting, you have to think about it like this. Everything that happens under the sun, which is on this planet, God has control of. God has control of everything under the sun. God had control of President Trump winning the presidency. So if you're one of the folk that's out here in the masses protesting, love Trump's hate, not my president, hate Trump, we want peace, all of this. If you're one of these people, that just tells me that you either have no belief in God and Jesus Christ whatsoever, or you're not allowing God to take control of this situation. You're trying to take the ranks from God and take your voice to the streets to try to protest. The elite don't care that you're out here protesting. Matter of fact, they would prefer that you raped women instead of protesting. They would prefer that you start shooting everybody, killing children. They want to cause chaos. This is what they want. Y'all, the Holocaust can so happen again today. It was the American industrialists that funded the Holocaust. What makes you think it could not happen again? In the blink of an eye. And about 95% of the population will be in a line on their way into a FEMA camp because they were too blinded. They spent too much of their time watching the Kardashians. They spent too much of their time worried about making a great salary. They spent too much of their time being concerned with um, Hollywood housewives and Jay-Z and Beyonce and this is... And not to forget the celebrities. These celebrities know about this agenda. They already know about this agenda. They promote it in their music. Beyonce promotes this in her music. So when you have Madonna come out and all these other people talking about, yeah, love Trump's hate. Yeah, not my president. All they're doing is trying to stir up the masses. Because they know that people worship celebrities like idols. And if they, get, if they get the right celebrities out there, people will listen. But not everybody's listening because I'm not. Because I understand what's truly going on. The 1% does not care about your child that's dying of cancer. They don't care that you're now about to lose your home. They don't care about this. They don't care that you don't have food to eat, to feed your kids. What they want though, however, is to put you on food stamps. <laughs> I'm so preaching. So that they can keep tabs on your ass. Excuse my language. And so that they can keep you dependent on the government. It's all a part of the matrix. That's what this is all a part of. The day America realizes that their voice never, ma never mattered 
is the day that you will start to see change in America. But if you were to ask any average American today, they, they still think their vote counts. They still think every four years that if they go to the polls, their voice actually matters. And it doesn't. You want to go out here and protest? Why don't you protest about the fluoride that they're putting in the water? Why don't you protest about the chemtrails that they're spraying down on Earth that causes neurological damage and damage to the inside of your body? Why don't you protest about the fact that they're trying to keep Americans sick and dying of all of these diseases and cancer and, and kidney failure and all this while they're making the big money? You want to protest, why don't you protest about the fact that the government is fully aware of food stamps, the projects, the ghetto. They know about all this. Why don't you protest about the FEMA camps? All of us are still slaves in this system. All of us are. It's not just the Jews. It's not just the African Americans. It's all of us. The last thing they want is a revolution. The last thing they want is for Americans to come together and to start helping and loving each other. That's the last thing that they want. So go out there and do what you're doing. Go out there and protest. Go out there and riot. But just know it's not changing anything. And also, you may want to consider the fact that when the economy does crash and the dollar no longer is worth anything, the same people on the news, which, let me get to that real quick. Mainstream media, that's your fake news. What happened was enough people started waking up and instead of watching mainstream news television, they started watching independent alternative news media, which is the true news. The 1% realized that a large amount of people were starting to figure out what was really going on. They had to shut that down. So now it's the mainstream news television that's claiming that they're not the fake news. It's actually the alternative news media that's the fake news that's the fake news you got to get rid of no baby girl it's you you're mainstream you're fake news you know god said in the bible that satan is the god of this world think about it they've got coffin liners thousands of them hundreds thousands of them in these deserted wooded areas stacked all the way up They've got warehouses full of military equipment, military weapons, tanks. Everybody's just waiting for the go. And when they start going house to house, rounding up folk to send them off to FEMA camps, are you going to be one of them? If you still think you have a voice, you will be. And you won't make it. So please, people, wake up. There have been enough so-called conspiracy theories that have actually come out to be a fact that they are true and were true. People are starting to wake up, but there's a lot of Americans that are not awoke. They still think Obama had their back. They still think that their vote counts. You can't tell them about a FEMA camp. They're going to be like, whatever. You can't tell them that there's a cure for AIDS. You can't tell them that Trump and the rest of these politicians know that there's a cure for cancer and you can cure it yourself. They know, People, they know this. The government, every all these people, they already know this. They just don't want you to figure it out because once you figure it out and word starts to get out, they're going to start losing Billions and billions, if not trillions of dollars, because people are going to stop going to the doctor for stuff. There's not going to be any need for freaking retirement home community. There's not going to be no need for hospitals. 
You can fix everything. God said that people die for lack of knowledge. So please, educate yourself. If you, if, if everything, or if, if there's anything I've said that you're like, eh, research it. See for yourself. That's why you've got hundreds of holistic doctors and doctors that practice natural healing and natural medicine being killed off because they don't want word to get out. At the end of the day, it's all about greed. At the end of the day, it's all about money. It has nothing to do with your family member that's dying from whatever it is. It has absolutely nothing to do with it. They don't care about it. They don't care about you. All of this that's going on right now with, with, with refugees coming in and Trump stopping that, this is all a part of the plan. Like I said, either Trump is with the globalist elite, either Trump is with the 1% or he ain't. It's either one or one or the other. And the truth is going to come out in due time. But instead of trying to fight Trump, Trump ain't the issue, baby girl. It's our government. It's the 1%. Iceland, they demolished their corrupted government and they won. You didn't hear about that on the news, not the mainstream news, because they don't want to put that idea in the Americans' head. Because if enough Americans found out the truth, we could either come together or cause even more chaos. The fact that you're out there protesting day in and day out over any and everything that Trump says and or does one thing you have to understand is that everything that happens under the sun is under the Lord's control. And what I mean by under the sun is on this planet. There is absolutely nothing that can happen under the sun that God does not have full control of. So that means that God has full control over Trump winning presidency. So why are you out here fighting in the streets against Trump? That either tells me that you don't have any belief in God or Jesus Christ, or that you do, but instead of leaving it up to God to take care of, you're trying to pull the ranks from God and take it into your own hands. And you'll never win. Nobody ever wins that way. So, to be honest, I'm not the crazy one. To be honest, I'm not the conspiracy theorist. If you really want to be honest, I'm one of the ones that woke the hell up. And I urge you to wake the hell up. Because one day, sooner or later, this economy is going to crash. One day, those FEMA camp doors, they're going to open. One day, they're going to go house to house rounding up American citizens to put to place in these FEMA camps. One day, there's going to be martial law. All of these things are going to happen. And you're either going to be awoke or you're going to be one of the ones along with your kids and everybody else in the line headed to a FEMA camp. History has a crazy way of repeating itself. And you want to know why it continues to repeat itself? It's because nobody is waking the hell up. Not enough folk. It's because you've got the majority of this planet still believing all of the lies they're still believing that what's taking place on the stage is their actual reality when in fact it's what's taking place behind the curtain that's the true reality that's the true reality 